so hello YouTube uh, I'm gonna show you today this voltage sense relay I made another video you can check my other videos where I use the older types that doesn't has this LED display seven segment LED display anyway this is supposed to be can be operated manually so I can activate the relay when I want if I would like to connect the two batteries for some reasons and uh, use it to start the to give extra power to the other battery but then you should use thicker cables I'm using sort of three times uh, 2.5 uh, square millimeters so you should use heavier cables I'm just gonna charge this battery and uh, make sure that they are on the same level otherwise the fuses will go I will show you the, you, the installation process and uh, hopefully show how it works this can take 140 amps uh, uh, at the, the max and continuously about perhaps 80 amps you can see the, the cut in voltage here can you see it it's 13.3 volts then it starts uh, in automatic it starts uh, conducting the relay and it cuts out at 12.8 and uh, this is how it looks on the back see 80 amps there version 2.1 2021 and I bought this for about 30 US dollar and this is the minus where I this I connect the chassis so yeah I'll show you the installation I got the extra battery here that I'm gonna charge with with this and it's an old type of course so it's possible to charge like this it's a Toyota Starlet looks like this all the type so this is the installation this is the main battery I connected the, the plus here cable going through an 80 amp fuse and I'm using all the same cables here yeah you can comment on it how bad it is but it works and there won't be too many amps as far as long as you do it what know what you're doing anyway this is the cable going through the here the rubber hose and then it runs inside the car all the way back and it comes to this place here here you have the 12 pl plus volt from the main battery and then the relay of course and then going through this box here where I also has have a fuse this is 30 amp fuse 30 amps and uh, running then to the plus of the other batteries in the negative of course for you, who knows I connected it down to the chassis and of course it's stuck right now of course it is can't be easy to pull anything up right okay so we got I'm gonna take this to the chassis and we got 1269 from the, the starter battery and this current here is from the leisure battery the battery is here so and they will be connected they are not uh, in uh, connected right now the relay access the switch so they are separated and uh, yeah I'll start the motor now and see what what we get so right now it's on auto auto so it will uh, be connected when uh, get 13.3 volts it will light up okay let's I'll go start the car
and you can see that we get uh, it's can you see the red light here it's activated and we got 14.3 volts here so now we're charging perhaps we can see some some amps going in the cable get five amps going in the cable if I put it this way I got I get you can see it's going down so we're charging with four amps right now and as I said we got a 30 amp fuse here and I got some extra here case and I'll shut this this can't be connected to metal or the chassis it will make the fuse go so anyway you see how it works here right so I can turn it off here if I press this now it's in manual and uh, now it's on you see uh, you can see it right you get the little blue light here so you can uh, turn it off in this manual or uh, uh, just like this I didn't find anyone else to explain this but this is work this is really great and you can see when the relay is activated on the little LED light here so to put it back on, uh, now I turned it off, and then it uh, activated on the the cut in here, 13.3 volts. So, yeah, what else can I show you? It's going down. Get three amps charging now, so it's pretty, pretty much full. And again going on manual here see the blue LED shows that it's manual and the red LED shows that it's the relay is activated and right now we get three amps going charging the battery again 80 amp fuse here going to the plus and the, then I use the chassis for for here comes the minus from the minus from the battery here it's minus see the minus there and it goes down below into a screw down there that is connected to the chassis you can put it sort of in into these types of bolts and get a good connection make sure that you get a good connection and this is the fuse box for the positive positive connection here I use uh, 10 uh, 1.1 1 .1 times 10 square millimeters and this is the same 10 square millimeters going to the plus positive side of the battery so I guess that's pretty much it working like a charm uh, I, I can measure uh, compare how the readings 14.2 see I gotta make sure that this doesn't connect to to any chassis let's take this put it in in the meeting there see if I can do this with one hand that's hard oh okay so 13 point 
75 so you get a voltage drop here with the cable so it's charging 13.75 but it's going down since it's getting fully loaded but uh, this meter says 14.2 now so it's a bit high in my opinion 14.2 is a bit high but anyway it shows that it's activated and now we're down to 2.5 amps charging and now I've turned the engine off so it should cut out soon when the voltage is going down see it's still red I have it on auto so it's cut off of 12.8 so the cut out is 12.8 well 13.04 so it's getting more accurate this 13.1 anyway it will cut out 12.8 and by the way this is one way relay so it doesn't sense the voltage from this battery it just senses from the start battery so if I would have a solar panel here that gives more but so I would want to charge the other way then I have to get a double sensing relay this is a single uh, voltage sense relay so I hope that clears it up it you get you, you have to think about more stuff when you use a double sense relay well, the, the best things with this manual thing is that I can deactivate it right here using the manual and I'm gonna do that now so now I turn it off and then I can put it on auto again and then you see that the blue stops lighting and it doesn't self start since the voltage you need 13.3 now to connect them okay that's it thanks for watching bye bye hope you give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe and so on do different kinds of content on this channel